So as a tornado pilot in the Royal Air Force, we'd regularly pull four to five G. And uh, for the tornado, it's not the most agile aircraft, so that's quite low for a fighter. Typical Typhoon pilot now is pulling 9G on a regular basis. To try and explain what that's like, a modern roller coaster will be maybe 3 or 4G, uh, and at that, your, your arms now weigh three or four times as much as they would do normally, so you'll, you'll find difficulty lifting your arms. But as I say, the Typhoon pilot now is putting three times that, nine times the force of gravity. So your arms now are weigh, weighing 10, 20 or 30 kilograms, actually almost very difficult to lift your arm under its own weight. But the other effect that has is the gravity pulls all the blood down through the body and then it has a tendency to pull in your feet and your lower limbs. And what that does reduces the blood pressure to your brain. And that can bring on something called G-lock, which is gravity-induced loss of consciousness. So what the pilot does is they perform an anti-G straining maneuver. That involves tensing your legs, your abdomen and your buttocks. And that increases the blood pressure, increases the pressure on the blood vessels in your bottom half of your body, which keeps more of the blood in the top half of your body. And it keeps the blood supply to the brain and to the eyes, which is what allows the pilot to pull more G-force whilst remaining conscious. And the anti-G cap training capability that Talas will be delivering is very much the, the peak equipment that allows this training to be conducted that matches the capability of the aircraft. So the Typhoon will pull 9G on a regular basis and also onsets that G very quickly and that creates another pressure on the pilot. So this is a big increase in capability that allows more of the training to be done on the ground and that allows pilots to operate at peak performance in the air. Talas has been delivering training services to the UK MOD for nearly 20 years. Still in service, the Tornado Synthetic Training Services RAF Lossiemouth and RAF Marham. We provide Takano Synthetic Training, RAF Linton on Ouse. And recently we've brought into service A400M and Voyager Training Centres at RAF Bryce Norton. Talas will be bringing the experience from these previous successful deliveries to the High G Training Service at RAF Cranwell, where we'll be providing the right equipment, building the facility, the building to go around it, and providing the right instructors. And typically we'll be looking to use experienced ex-military instructors who can provide the ethos and the credibility to deliver the training effectively. And all this in full partnership with the end user and the end customer in the UK MOD.